So our next speakers and our last speakers of the evening come from Soundstreams Canada New Music Company. And I'd like to introduce uh, Director of Operations Jennifer Winchester and Touring Coordinator Sam Joyce. And they're going to talk to us about massive online video engagement. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Um, I'm Jennifer, and this is Sam, our touring coordinator at Soundstreams. And uh, as Ella said, Soundstreams is a new music company. We present concerts, festivals, all focusing on the music of living composers, particularly Canadian um, composers here in Canada. And uh, I started with Soundstreams um, in 2006, and at that time the organization um, had a website that had uh, a couple text pages and um, not a ton of traffic. And uh, one of our major first initiatives was an online community engagement initiative. Mark, can you hit the next slide? So um, the, uh, the company, as I said, was really at a, a point of, of, I guess there was a big point of change. That um, there was an opportunity that we saw and, um, and we, we went ahead to take it. Yeah, or sorry, Mark, can you go to the next slide? Um, our major challenge was that new music is a relatively niche market and we had limited distribution. So the, um, the website that we were working with, as I said, was fairly limited and if you wanted to hear the kind of new music that we were presenting, you had to either go to a live concert, um, listen to CBC radio um, or a European broadcaster. So there's no way to access this music that is really, you know, amazing music happening here in Canada. And um, when I say niche market, I, I kind of would listen to this music and go, it's only niche because there's no access to it. And if you create access, all of a sudden it's not a niche market anymore. Next slide. So that was the challenge. And the goal was then to start to enrich the website with a lot more online content. And both archival content from the, the organization's 28 year history, but also with new video content. Um, and make it available on our website. Next slide. Um, the outcome of the initiative, which started about a year and a half ago, uh, is that we now have over 25,000 unique visitors on the website, um, 27,000 views on our YouTube channel, and we do live streaming of our concerts when we can, and 62% uh, in increase in attendance of our live concerts. So we're finding that Obviously, all of this content on the website and on our YouTube channel drives a lot of interest in the live event as well. Next slide. Um, the starting point was uh, a couple of things. Um, all of these are major things. So uh, when I say a year and a half, this is a year and a half of really concentrated, hard work in many different directions. The first of which was um, what we call the path to leadership. And the path to leadership is, is, I think, the most important element of this work. And essentially what it is, if you go to the next slide, Mark, is a document that sums up the artistic vision of the organization. Because if you're going to do online community engagement, you have to decide why are you doing it and what are you trying to do. And for us, it's about obviously promoting Canadian composers and musicians, um, but it's also about the people in your organization who are going to bring their voice to this online content. It's really personal. So, so I'm going to draw your attention to just the top line. And that's the essence of our organization. And that is that everything that we do in our community engagement will have a bold and adventurous imagination. So um, <laughs> basically, the, the whole goal is to get the team um, to engage in that, uh, that bold and adventurous imagination. And that comes from the programming and goes out into all of these videos and blogs and photos that are happening online. Um, from there, we built a strategic plan for three years for the organization and also for this, for this online activity. And the whole idea, again, was just distribution. Get it out there, get it out there, get it out there. Um, next slide. Um, the other big part of the puzzle for us was the website, and we did a massive redevelopment of the website in 2007, 2008, and this platform is what allowed us to put up a lot of content. 
Um, if we hadn't redeveloped the website, it would have been pretty difficult for us to do this. Um, but there were other resources that we needed as well. Um, obviously, we needed um, the, you know, the digital camera and the, the, the laptop with the iMovie on it. Uh, but we also needed to get our team uh, up and rolling on how to, how to essentially you know, take their video camera out, bring it back to the office, edit the video, and post it to the website. Um, thankfully, the website uh, is a really user-friendly um, model. It's just a, a back-end content management system. So our entire team, our whole staff, it's just seven people, but everyone on the team is able to use this, is able to go out to whatever event they're at, come back to the office, upload a video, upload a blog, whatever it is. Next slide. Um, so blogging is really important. Um, this is a blog actually from Moose and Me uh, when Sam was on tour. And Sam is here tonight because Sam is a really important part of this online initiative. And when we first started the, um, the videos, they were fairly academic. So we'd be like, we have a new world premiere by Armory Schaefer. Let's interview the composer. And in a sense, that's a very earnest way to start video content. It's totally a valid way to start. 4,000 people watch those videos. Um, but we also wanted to have a little bit of fun. <laughs> and um, when we sent our Cree language opera up to northern Ontario, um, Sam took the video camera and the editing equipment and just started to create a lot of material, which she's going to show you in a bit. Um, next slide. Um, the YouTube channel is incredibly important, and this just as part of resource, um, the importance for us was to just to use uh, resources that are there and that are free already. So not to try and recreate a lot of um, a lot of the models that are already there available for your use. But and the other part of that was to use spaces where people are already going. So we recognized at the beginning that not a lot of people are going to go to soundstreams.ca to our website. Um, you know, 25,000 people is great. It's up from 4,300, so obviously we're thrilled with that. But in terms of the relative scale of where we see ourselves going and the amount of people we think we can reach, um, we know that we, we, you know, there's millions of people on YouTube channel. So if we start our own YouTube channel, eventually those numbers will grow and grow and grow, and you know, we're, we just get a chance to experiment with what people want to watch and how they want to watch it. So that's the great advantage of using these free resources. 